Hello guys. Good morning from our little adventures. Today we are taking you inside Spring Mill State Park. It's in Mitchell, Indiana. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a really nice park. He was planning on coming last summer and we never did get up here, but... Sorry guys, we got us, uh, that's my game. It's a cool cloudy day, but you know, they have everything opened up. They're doing what like live demonstrations and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be a blast. Go guys. Go. Definitely a wish the sun was shining a little bit more, but I keep seeing it trying to peek out. Hopefully, yeah, it's a little nippy day. It was a, a nasty, cool day yesterday. It's only supposed to be like what 62 today, 63, yeah, 60, somewhere around low 60s. And it's seven dollars a carload to get in if you're from the state of Indiana. If you're out of state, it's $9. Yeah. Okay, $7. Is that 7 Make sure it's 7 Make sure it's They seven. were sticking together on me. You got it. Let me get you a map. And today we're having a reaction. You might want to go check it out. It starts at 2.30. I see you've got a kid back there. We also yeah. got a stock quick thing. And we also got a snake talk if she's interested. Oh, awesome. Awesome. There you go, and you have a lovely hey, day. You, you too. too. Thank, Thank you, you. ma'am. So they've got uh, seven walking trails, a stagecoach trail, and a mountain bike trail. Trail one is... Uh, trail one, trail two, trail five are considered moderate. Trail three and four Mommy, are an considered, ABS hold on baby. And the stagecoach trail considered rugged. Trail six is accessible. That's a paved trail around the Grissel Memorial. Trail seven is considered easy. So Pioneer Village is that way. There's different trails. There's a lake off to my right. There's a Lakeview Activity Center. Right that way. There's just so much to... Mommy. Yes, we are. starts at at one o'clock Abraham Lincoln meeting house Ooh. at 2 30 battle at Sycamore Field and the village closes at 4 30 today I guess this is the village here that's the Sycamore shelter it says smells good you wanna come on over yeah let's go Uh, go out and take a look at the gun if you want to. Okay. Oh, awesome. All right, we got an impromptu bridge here. It's kind of dangerous, but uh, you can get across it. Field expedience. We <laughs> close the purpose, right? All right. What this is, this is a model 1841, 12-pound mountain howitzer. Bunny likes it. She likes it? Yeah. Well, we'll get her a job on the gun then. <laughs> it fires a 12-pound shell. Case shot or canister. Now, the diameter of our bore is much smaller. On normal, on a real one of these, this is a reproduction. Mm -hmm. This would be 4.62 inches. Okay. But we can use ours smaller because we, we want to use a smaller powder charge so we don't go broke. <laughs> <laughs> we pack our charges in small little aluminum cylinders. Make out aluminum foil, you wrap it around like a Coke can, mm -hmm. close the end, you put the powder in, tighten it up, and that's what we load in there. These are your implements that you use to load it. That's the worm. After you fire the piece, you put the worm in there. Now, we have to do that more often because on a, in the actual Civil War, it was in a cloth bag, which usually would burn up. 
Well, we pack ours in aluminum, so we have to put that in there. You turn it around, you feel it bite, then you'll pull it out and get that piece of aluminum out of there. It'll just build up and it'll block the vent hole. Mm -hmm. You have even uh, odd numbers on the right, mm -hmm. and even numbers on the left. Okay. So this would be number two, the number one. And your number two, he loads it. Now, the number one, he takes the sponge, puts it in the sponge bucket, runs the sponge in there, turns it, and uh, all while your number three is over here cutting off the air supply to the tube. You don't want it, you know how you blow on a fire and yeah. get it to go. You don't want any air going in and out of there because you might miss an ember and that would fan it up, make it hotter. So that's just now sponged, it's warmed and sponged. Now we can load. He brings it up to you, to the number two here. The number two puts the powder charge in along with the projectile, but we don't have a projectile. So mm -hmm. he just puts the powder charge in. And he steps aside and he's done. The number one then reverses the sponge to the rammer end, rams it in there, mm -hmm. trying to stay out of the way of the front of the gun at all times. Yeah. And all that while, the, the number three is still down here. He's got to oversee in the operation here, make sure everybody's cleared, make sure there's no air. So then he'll, once, once it's loaded, he'll have a vent pick. Push it down in that hole, which pokes a hole in that aluminum so it has a better chance of igniting the powder. And then his job is basically done. He stands here holding his vent pick. The number four here comes forward, puts the primer in the hole. And the Come back here. Number three is over here. He'll hold that in there with that vent pick, make sure that it don't wiggle around. Uh -huh. Number four hooks the lanyard to it. And he'll step back and then he'll tell that guy to step out and he'll say, clear the piece, come to the ready. Everybody will step away from the gun except him. He looks at the gun commander. He says, fire and he'll pull that lanyard. And it's a little, the, the primer is a little T-shaped thing. looks like a T with a loop on one end. So when you pull it, it's like a sparker. It makes a spark, like striking a match, and it flashes through that hole and goes off. But I like the, I do cars, really tight, but I like them for 50 cents. That is impressive. Well, the one Old metal, you know, too. They have as many uh, 50 cent ones as the glasses for as they do all the cars in the, in the one there. And then school. there's about two or three 50 centers in the rest Watch out, there's a person. Watch out, baby. Yeah. Oh, my okay. Yeah, working line. Yeah, stand right here and I'll get your picture. Okay. Alright guys, we're here. We've made it to the Spring Mill uh, Park, uh, State Park in Mitchell, Indiana. We've got a nice little stream behind us. They've got reenactments and we're getting ready to head down into the village. Yeah, this is a really cool place. I bet it's one of the best state, state parks in the state of Indiana. I mean, this, this place is humongous. And it's clean. And it's very, very clean. So we're going to get in the village and uh, check it out. We'll take you guys along with us. They have a, a few caves in this area. They got all kinds of trails. at Spring Mill State Park in Indiana and I would like to tell you that uh, Lawrence County is the only county in the United States that can boast three astronauts. Hey. Virgil Grissom who flew into Liberty Bell, 
We also have Charles D. Walker mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Kenneth Bauer socks. Enjoy Springville Park. Picked up a couple tiles for giveaway magnet tiles. I like it. That's your magnet. One is of uh, Gus Grissom from the Liberty Bell, and then one is a picture of the village here. And this one here is uh, the village. We're going to be doing a uh, giveaway on these, uh, so stay tuned for that one. Sitting some, I love this little creek. I said, I just wish there was some sunshine. I said, Hey, at least there's no snakes. Yeah, that's the point. I got some pictures of the stream, that's a really pretty stream. It is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> northern bandit water it's snake scary. with you, young. It's water moccasin. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully there's no, we don't see none today. It's too cool. Okay, good job. Let's see. Like mighty altar stand our parks, the crowning glory of our land. No, yeah, we're with her, mommy. <laughs> hey guys! Hey guys! It's a really cool village. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Get soft over there in that Confederate uh, infantry camp. They have a lamb. Oh, a my real goodness. lamb. A real one. A real one. That follows her. <laughs> oh, it's going to follow you everywhere. Yep. Well, that's a nice looking cannon. Thank you. They ate the ladies cook. Oh yeah, chicken, squirrel, rabbit, uh, deer, um, fish, uh, jambalaya. Oh yeah, um, pies, cakes. Um, they're actually making fruit filled pies right now. Are they really? Cobblers. Um, I'm sorry. Biscuits. Well, biscuits and gravy. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Ooh. Can't go wrong with that. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Come on in, ask questions. We won't. Hey, we can't. She wants to buy you. a dress. Skirt. Where is she? <laughs> you make it. I do. Uh, okay. You make it. Hey, we can ask a question. We can't tell you the truth. We'll make a line and make it sound really good. Washington's <laughs> been doing it for years. Yes. You can actually go online and buy them, but it's more satisfying if you make them yourself. Hey, dog. This is a uh, 44th. Oh, hold on. Look here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Let's go see it. Get near the fire, baby. I don't. It looks like it's a pig. Chicken? Look at her, Look at her. Yeah. Oh, you. This is Noah. He's super friendly. He's a baby sheep and they're called lambs. He's three months old. Oh, he's just a baby. Mm -hmm. he, he's just got here. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Right there. Like a little dog, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, he acts just like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows he's a lamb. Yeah, he acts like he, like just like a he little puppy. He runs around the house with our dogs, just like. Does he really? Yep. That is cool. I put a doggy diaper on him when he comes to the house. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. What do you think about this, Shook? I love it. It's cool, isn't it? Uh-huh. Here. Here. Let's see. That's right. This way, it's so sweet. She's throwing it
was born in Connecticut October 27, 1785 and died in Indiana at the age of 94. At the age of 18, she married and moved to the Canadian frontier. She lived within the very center of artillery fire in the battles about York and helped in caring for the wounded. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> this is the leather shop, but that's not open right now. Look at that one. Uh huh. That's that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wave, Shug. Yeah, I got her. up here, water's coming down the flume, come down through the Schloss gate up in front of the uh, water wheel. As it goes over the water wheel, we got the gears up here, then down in the basement, we got five more gears. 
okay. as it turns those gears, it turns the stones here. As it turns these stones, the corn falls down from the hopper down into what they call the shoe. Mm -hmm. Now the shoe it looks like a trough with a handle on it. That handle rides on the shaft coming up through the stone. As it turns, it vibrates that shoe handle and feeds the corn into the eye of the stone. As it does that, it comes out the front here, grinds it. It'll do about 600 pounds an hour. As it goes into the uh, box here, out here in front of that box is what they call a uh, tenery gear. That gear raises and lowers my upper stone. That's how I adjust for my grind. Plus, whenever, right now, it's in an open position, my stones are further apart so that whenever it starts up, there's less stress on my gears. Okay. Then as it uh, starts grinding, I will crank it down two turns. That gives us our grind we got right here. So. Mm, that's interesting. When, once it uh, does all of that, comes out, like I said, does 600 pounds an hour, so it's pretty efficient. Yeah, it is. Built in 1817. Yeah, we have. Yes. We had a, um, one year in February, we had snow on the ground, about a oh, foot of snow on the ground.
So this building right here is the spring house and it was built in 1840.